All right, guys, so um, this video is going to be a video recap of the New York Pro. I told you guys I would um, do it either on Instagram uh, Reel or on YouTube. Um, I'm just going to do it on YouTube so people actually really want to know um, what's my feedback and what's next and everything. They can just come pop on here. Uh, I take the time to actually listen to it. But um, I'm going to, I receive finally my um, my feedback. So I'm going to start with that. Um, and then I'm going to go into kind of like how I felt. I'm going to try to keep it short. It's going to be just like a talking video. Um, this one, I'll try to keep it under 10, like under 10 minutes, um, short and sweet. But um, I'm going to go over like how kind of like I felt and how I think I looked and everything. And then I'm going to uh, let you guys know what's next for me uh, for this year. So um, my feedback were, let me find the email. I'm going to put it there as well. But pretty much it said the two main things that you can work on are adding more depth and width to your back, um, which... Um, that's something I've been working on so much since, um, well, this whole past year and coming into this year. I had like two back days, as you guys know, um, one for like mid back, one for lats. So I'm going to just keep on working, uh, growing. I think that looking at my picture, back at my picture, uh, I did some improvement. Can I make more improvement for sure? Um, so I... I booked Eric. I'm actually going to be training with him on Saturday. If you guys know him or not, he's a very knowledgeable coach, um, like trainer, you know, but he's very good with technique and mechanism and stuff. So um, I'm going to be doing some session in the next few weeks leading up. Uh, he's more like a teacher than just pushing you through a workout, which that's what I love. I love to learn. Um, and I'm going to be able to apply it in my, like all my training. So I'm going to be starting being more like diligent with everything and working with him um, when I can and really putting all like very being like focused on like not just going through the motion but like very uh, improving those um, areas so I mean back always been my weakness um, and I've been working very hard to make the focus on that so I'm just going to keep doing that um, and then he said also coming in more condition uh, which obviously I agree um, we knew going into New York that that was something we would have like we would struggle with um, the thing is I started prep in December and like like you guys know like I've gained a lot of weight last year being off season the whole year just going through a lot of stuff so we actually lost 50 pounds to get to New York and we actually pulled out out of like Pittsburgh that was a week before just to give me a little bit of time and even then like I was very mindset on like I want to try to do at least Pittsburgh or New York do a big show and just like um put myself out there like just like more for like myself to really just get on the big stage and get that fear off and do a U.S. show so um if it was just from Duran I mean God bless Duran is push me so much and can like respect my decision and um, got me there, which I'm like super like thankful for him. And, but if it was just from him, would have probably waited another like extra three, four weeks to, to do Toronto and get me like to the exact condition we wanted to bring me at. So um, we knew that like my legs were not fully there yet, but we brought the best we could with the time that I allow him to give like, prep me um so yeah he said i also think you can add a little bit more to your hamstring for your two side poses so um something i'll be working on too um uh, i've been starting back training with emily uh we're going to try to train on saturdays together so um it's just a really good dynamic duo for me and her that like we can really push each other um so great um i personally think my tie-in needs to be like popping more and just growing that area. It wasn't in obviously the feedback, but I think it's like personal goal for me. I would love to see my tie-in popping more, but I think it will also come with uh, obviously being more conditioned. So um, just finish with you have an amazing shape. So just working on the first two things will change your physique drastically. So super excited about those. I mean, just keep on working. Um, I, yeah, it's, 
it's just always good to like very have a good direction knowing where you're going um so yeah i've been scaling back to four times a week uh just to letting my body my i actually love training just four times a week and letting my body can like uh rest a little bit more um and then we'll see in the next few weeks how like we structure my training for that uh, because i just got the feedback yesterday so i'm gonna talk with dorian see how we make my split and go from there okay so now i kind of want to give you guys um so after the prejudging in new york i did um i did a quick reel um i posted a reel on my instagram sorry posted a reel on instagram kind of saying how i was feeling after prejudging obviously um didn't place how obviously i wished uh i i was i ended up being 14 out of 27 girls um so I kind of just made it real very quick uh it wasn't out of emotion i just wanted to put it out there that like i don't want people to like feel bad for me or like sending me messages and like having to explain myself so i was just like listen i'm super happy i'm like i put myself out there like new york and like i i'm literally just happy to be here uh i know as a competitor you're always obviously wishing for uh placing and stuff but for me uh, it was personal after the year that I had the year before, just coming back on stage and like getting myself there because like I said a couple of times last year, I didn't even know if I would be still mentally. I was like, am I even going to ever be back in a place that I'm able to prep? So just being in New York and I knew I had like a good weekend coming. Um, I was seriously just having the best time and I was al already kind of like, um, kind of like turn, uh, not turned off, I was kind of like uh, out of it already, not in a bad way, but I knew that like coming into finals, I was out of the top 10. So that meant that I was just going on stage, doing one pose and leave. And that was it for me. Um, so we had a burger and fries, just kind of see how my body respond to it because we had nothing to lose. So I had that and I went backstage with Emily uh, for our finals. She got fourth. It was amazing so for me it was just like okay now i can have a good time i'll be back on stage later but just for a little second so i'm gonna go enjoy and be there for emily go backstage talk with friends see friends and then i knew that we had good plans for um dinner and we would just have a good time the next day we were spending some time in new york so um i think all those things were just really exciting and i was just very very happy um to be there obviously driving back and like a couple of days pass um i think my first thought process when i was starting like seeing photos and like the gilco video and stuff i look at myself obviously disappointed it's like i have such a good idea of like what i know what i want to look like on stage um and not seeing that yet in me and that potential is kind of like ugh. You're like, okay, well, it's not not there yet, which is fine. Um, but I think I was just very disappointed. I, not in a bad way, but I was just like, okay, this is not what I want to... It's not something I look at. I'm like, okay, it's pro, uh, pro material. And that's me being very hard on myself. Um, but after like a couple of days looking back and I, I like I've looked at my photos like so many times I've looked at the video so many times and I think the more and more I would look at it I would start being a bit less and less critical which is which is great I think like when I really look back at it now I can like truly say that everything about New York uh, was just positive for me I don't even take in like any negative from it um the biggest thing for me was like i said it was really personal um i came i came back i've like been on been on stage um and being on the big stage and doing a u.s show it was so nice it was so smooth everything went so well i had the best time it was probably my best show weekend um ever so far so uh, it was just very fun and I think it gave me a lot of perspective and realization um, going into uh, the next obviously stage of um, my career so I've only done um, 
Canadian show, but I feel like since I started bodybuilding, I've always done kind of like pretty well for myself. So like when I did any like national, I would or like I would always get first place. Um, missed it like um, overall for pro card couple times, but I was always like first, 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 and then I did my first pro show. Um, jump into like the second pro show, I got third, and I I won at Vancouver. I did the Olympia um, at a pretty early age for me. Even like I never thought I would be on the Olympia stage that early in my career so um that was really huge for me even though I didn't do well at the Olympia uh it was still like crazy so like I think I needed that like comeback but also I needed that f not failure but like yeah I needed to like miss and have like that like realization of like holy shit um yeah I'm like 14 and like it's a big show and girls are cr like crazy physique there so um First of all, like some of the girl, like and, and no disrespect, like those girl looks crazy amazing, but they are huge. Like they like besides me, um, they have a lot more muscle, a lot more like maturity muscle. So I still think like so at the beginning, I feel like there was a lot of doubt of like, do I even have the potential? And like it was just like back and forth. And then I'm like, no, I do have it, but I really need to do that on my term. Um, I want to be able to win a show, um, even if it's not a big show like New York. I want to be able to win a show and qualify, but with a physique that I'm very happy about and a physique that I love to myself. So I love being a smaller figure. I love being um, like very feminine, very elegant and there's a lot of girls reaching out to me, which I appreciate you girls uh, so much that have been reaching out to me, um, but just appreciating the figure physique that I'm bringing. Um, just because figure is supposed to be very elegant, very like feminine, very proportionate. And I do still think I need to improve and bring a bigger, better package and physique to be worth to like win a show and qualify again and do well but I do love my physique and that's something I never want to change I love my proportion I love the flow so it's just a very good thing and then the second thing like the big realization for me was I, I cannot expect myself to do well at big shows or even do well at shows like that when I'm not able to end all of season. And I think it's big for me to like talk about it because, because a lot of people struggle with off season and I'm one of them and I'm a pro. I've been a pro for like a couple of years and that's something I still struggle, struggle with to be honest. Um, so for me to like gain so much weight off season not being able to end all that as like a good athlete, um, and find my balance through off season and prep, it makes everything so hard when I get in prep. Me having to drop 50 pounds, it's like we spend the whole prep trying to just lose that weight instead of being in a good place, turning prep and just using prep as getting leaner, but also fueling my body and just seeing through prep, seeing through prep how my um, my physique improve and like if we need more food and just like giving my body like food all through prep having good uh, having, having better sleep and uh, not doing as much cardio um, having more food and like having better like workout being fuller I actually have a pump I actually like filling up my muscle and like not getting into the show so like depleted and just trying to fill up from there and uh, yeah it's just I want to be able to start in a good place and be better mentally and be able to get on stage uh, with like a fresher look, a fuller look. Um, so yeah, I think that was my big realization of like, I can expect something very great there when I'm doing very bad there. And again, it's okay to go through shit. It's okay to like fail and you just need to learn from it. And I think for me, that was the first time I fully learned. And again, it's been, like two weeks pro show and yeah I've, I've realized that and learned that but I need to apply it and make sure that I can prove myself that I'm in a better place now and understand um, the repercussion if I'm going back to the place I've been before so um, yeah overall to be honest and I think that was the first show 
that I was doing fully for myself. Obviously, when you go to a show, you want to be seen. You want people to, like, acknowledge you, recognize you. Like, it's the sport, right? And, like, obviously, there was always those little expectations. I think that was the first show ever that, like, that was, like, fully for me. I didn't care what people would think. I didn't care about my placing. And people would be like, oh, she's not as good as we thought she was or like from like Instagram or anything it was just fully for me um and I had so much peace about that so it's a lot of like maturity for me and a lot of like good thing for like moving forward um so yeah next what's next for me um obviously at first I was planning on doing Toronto after like how I showed up at New York um one thing I want to say like thanks to Christina um she's amazing my amazing posing uh posing coach that was the first time so my last memory from on stage was obviously the olympia so what the only thing i remember is i was more conditioned so in my head i was like oh my god i was way better at the olympia i didn't improve blah blah my weight's the same i didn't gain any muscle um but then looking back at it and kind of doing side by side um obviously i've improved which i'm happy with but the biggest thing is for the first time in my life i look at my photos from stage and i'm very happy with my front pose and my back pose and they actually look like something now that i i'm going to improve and get more conditioned but like i'm very happy with how it looks and it's really more of like what i imagine myself looking on stage so super happy with that but again you cannot you cannot do that on your own you need a team around you um and i'm not gonna stop thank being thankful for dorian who's been obviously amazing coach for me uh for the past four years he knows me he knows how to bring me um and just navigate everything so okay what is next for me i'm gonna try to make this short and sweet because i'm pretty sure i'm over 10 minutes already I'm talking way too much um but like i said i was supposed to do toronto um after looking at new york i was I just like knew that like for the next three weeks um I would have to push myself so hard and like get on stage again kind of like my body very tired so we decided to take the next four to five weeks um improvement season of season keeping a good condition um but enjoying a free meal uh every week right now I had obviously I came back from New York the Monday I ate a couple of things so I went back on my diet on the Tuesday um I think it was about like 12 pounds up and at my free meals Saturday that just passed and then were Tuesday and my weight um dropped back down to like lower than before my free meal so now I'm about like six pounds up from stage which is a good place for me to be we're gonna start uh introducing a little bit more fat I'll do a full day of eating and explaining a little bit more um but we're gonna take that four to five weeks to just um improve giving myself a little bit of a rest and kind of like improvement season and then it's gonna put me around 10 weeks out um go back and prep and hopefully trying to keep food very like high uh all through prep and maybe keeping one free meal a week um all through prep as well as well or like most likely um that's gonna put me into september show so there's two shows at uh, beginning of september that would still allow me to qualify for this olympia um, so that's kind of what we're aiming for. I believe it's Arizona Pro and San Antonio and Texas. Not sure yet. I'm just, I need to speak with Durham, but that's kind of like her timeline. Um, so I'm super excited for that. And then if, if I don't qualify, I can always do um, o other shows after that, like end of September, October, uh, November, if, like depending where my body's at, uh, that could qualify me for the next year Olympia. So whatever i'm super pumped uh, i think it's going to be such a good prep for me um like just in terms of like energy everything else um but i'm super excited for that uh, and i'm just in a great mind space i'm just enjoying the next kind of like little face off to like enjoy time with friends go out um on my free meals and kind of like enjoy patio and stuff and um yeah so that is kind of it for where I'm at mentally, I'm seriously super happy. I think like I needed that New York show to put me where I am right now, physically, but also mentally and just like changing my mindset going forward. So everything is a learning curve. Everything is for a reason. And no matter what you do, no matter like the placing or the result you get, try to get the positive out of everything and just turn it into a positive and a good thing and just enjoy, seriously. 
enjoy like yeah um i love you guys and i will definitely obviously this time around keep you guys posted and much more uh closer up with everything leading up to the rest of the year uh but i love you guys and yeah i will see you in the next video